digestive tract or loses more potassium than it takes in, a potassium shortage may result. Consequently, too low potassium levels can cause weariness, weakness in the muscles, and other health issues. Potassium is a mineral that affects your heart's electrical activity and facilitates both contraction and relaxation. It's critical to consume adequate potassium in your diet because it also aids in controlling the quantity of fluid in your body. The most prevalent causes of potassium insufficiency are type 1 diabetes and kidney disease, both of which are linked to elevated blood pressure. However, if you don't eat enough fruits and vegetables, an inadequate intake of this nutrient might also result in a deficiency. Although it is uncommon in severe situations, it might result in cardiac arrest. We'll be discussing the symptoms of potassium insufficiency in this video. Please be aware that all information presented in this video has been verified by licensed health professionals and is objective. Now that we've covered everything, let's discuss the symptoms of a potassium shortage. 1. Muscle weakness and cramps. Many foods, like beans, potatoes, and bananas, contain potassium, but unless you eat these items frequently, it can be hard to get enough of the mineral. 4. 700 mg of potassium per day is the recommended intake for people. You could become deficient in this vital mineral if your food isn't providing enough of the substance. Muscle weakness is the most typical symptom of low potassium. Your muscles may not have enough potassium in your body to maintain healthy function if they are weak and cramping. Although it is less prevalent than low potassium levels, magnesium deficiency is another factor that can contribute to muscle weakness. Magnesium is another essential mineral for muscle growth. A potassium deficit can happen to anyone, but some people are more susceptible than others. These include those with high aldosterone levels, those taking diuretics or laxatives, those who consume excessive amounts of salt, and women whose heavy menstrual cycles are caused by birth control medications or pregnancy. 2. Weakness and Fatigue A potassium shortage can arise from excessive fluid loss from the body, which can happen during prolonged vomiting, diarrhea, or perspiration. The body experiences signs of potassium shortage when it cannot replenish depleted potassium. An excessive amount of weariness is one of the signs of potassium insufficiency. Individuals who are deficient in this mineral often experience dizziness when they stand up rapidly or when they exert themselves physically, such climbing stairs. Various factors can contribute to fatigue. It's crucial to see your doctor or other healthcare provider if you consistently feel exhausted and drowsy in order to identify the source of your symptoms. 3. Digestive Problems Inflammation of the stomach lining or digestive disorders like gastritis might result from a potassium shortage. Abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting could accompany this. The muscles in your colon and intestines, particularly those that move food through your digestive tract, are impacted by a deficiency in this substance because it stimulates the production of digestive secretions from the pancreas, stomach, and gallbladder. Potassium aids in controlling the flow of food through the digestive system. Insufficient potassium intake may cause these organs to produce insufficient digestive enzymes, which could lead to improper food digestion and excessive transit time of certain food components through the digestive tract. 4. Constipation a typical problem is constipation. In actuality, it's among the most frequent causes for medical visits. There are numerous reasons why someone could experience constipation, such as inadequate nutrition, inactivity, or dehydration. For the kidneys to function correctly, the potassium to sodium ratio must be at least 2 to 1. The diets of the majority of Americans are too high in sodium and too low in potassium. Constipation and dehydration may result from this. A possible reason for constipation is a low potassium level in the blood. The mineral is used by your body to assist control the contraction of the muscles in your digestive system. Your intestines' ability to absorb water and how well you digest meals can both be affected by low blood potassium levels. 5. Abnormal Heartbeat A disturbance in the heart's regular electrical activity, which alters the heartbeat rate, is the root cause of abnormal cardiac rhythms. A recent study discovered that an irregular heartbeat can result from a potassium deficit. The purpose of the study was to assess the association between heart rate and serum potassium levels in healthy subjects. 
63 male volunteers in the study were split into three groups based on the serum potassium levels they possessed. The findings of the study showed that elevated serum potassium levels were linked to a lower heart rate and decreased serum potassium levels to an increased heart rate. You should never attempt to self-diagnose or treat any potential underlying issues if you have an irregular heartbeat, especially if doing so includes taking medicine without first visiting your doctor. Liking our video so far? Before we move on to the next sign, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new informative videos. 6. Bone Loss and Numbness People who consume a diet heavy in protein are more likely to be deficient in potassium. Your body will take potassium from your bones to meet its demands if you don't obtain enough from your diet. Osteoporosis and bone loss may result from this, increasing your risk of fractures in the event of an accident or fall. Due to low potassium levels causing nerve injury, numbness in the arms and legs can also result from potassium insufficiency. Although the precise source of this nerve injury is unknown, low blood pressure linked to a potassium deficit may be the reason. 7. Breathing Difficulties Breathing problems may result from a potassium deficit, particularly if you have kidney illness or an eating condition that leads you to lose potassium. The contraction of muscles, such as those in your heart, lungs, and digestive system, need potassium. Hyperkalemia, which raises blood acidity and decreases blood pumping capacity, may be brought on by a potassium deficiency. This may cause respiratory problems. 8. High blood pressure. Potassium, which is found in all of the body's cells and fluids, is around 20 grams in weight. Normal muscle function, such as breathing and heartbeat, depends on potassium. Moreover, it supports normal blood pressure maintenance. Because a potassium deficit makes your body retain more salt, it can raise your risk of high blood pressure. Your blood vessels hold more water when exposed to sodium, which expands the vessel's volume. Your heart has a tougher time pumping blood throughout your body as a result. The kidneys govern how much water and salt your body holds in order to regulate blood pressure. Your kidneys respond to low potassium levels in the blood by retaining more water and sodium in order to make up for the deficiency. Hypertension, or elevated blood pressure, is the result of this process. 9. Polyuria A person with polyuria has an excessive need to urinate. Another way to describe it is as an unusually high urine volume. Polyuria, or excessive urine, is brought on by a potassium deficit because the kidneys absorb more sodium as a result. As a counterbalance to salt and chloride, potassium also aids in controlling the body's water balance. Excess fluid may be lost in the urine when there is not enough potassium in the blood. Dehydration may come from this, and dehydration can cause weakness and weariness among other health issues. How to treat a potassium deficiency you should speak with your doctor before beginning any supplementation if you have a potassium shortage. If left untreated, potassium insufficiency is a dangerous illness that can be fatal. Given the possible negative effects, you should always see a doctor before taking any supplements, including potassium. There are various ways you can cure potassium insufficiency if your doctor gives the go-ahead. Eating more bananas and other fruits with high potassium content is one way. A serving of bananas typically contains 450 milligrams, or roughly 10% of the daily allowance for adults. Additional foods high in potassium include broccoli, tomatoes, potatoes, and beans. Given that one serving of milk has roughly 300 milligrams of potassium, you can also consume it. To boost the nutritional content of cereal, you can add milk to it or use it in cooking recipes instead of water. Alternatives to salt may also be helpful. Potassium chloride is used in sodium replacements in place of sodium chloride. These items have no nutritional value, but they can be used in recipes and at the table in place of ordinary salt. If you suffer from high blood pressure or heart problems, see your physician before taking salt replacements. Remaining hydrated can aid your body in eliminating extra sodium and replacing it with more potassium, as dehydration has been linked to low potassium levels. The body can store potassium for up to 24 hours, which is fantastic news. This implies that a potassium shortage won't become worse overnight, 
It could take several days or even weeks for you to notice any symptoms related to low potassium levels. Check your potassium levels to make sure they're normal if you feel weak or exhausted, have vomiting or muscle weakness, or lose your ability to react to stimuli in your legs and spine. Preventing a potassium deficit is not too difficult. If you identify with any of the symptoms in this video, consider eating more bananas, spinach, avocado, beans, salmon, potatoes, and slash or supplements that your doctor has suggested. Your intellect will appreciate you later if you take good care of your body's potassium levels. Did you find this video enjoyable? For more educational videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and use the like button. We appreciate you seeing. Our goal is your well-being.